see my RV behind me. Yeah. So we're gonna jump right into this. I am pulling in my RV. I am backing it up. The way that I do it, I do kind of like a swivel S. So I pull kind of into the parking spot, but then pull out and then um, bring my tail in into the actual spot. And it's so funny, like every single time I pop up to a RV park, I always have like a slew of guys trying to help me out. Like, oh, do you need help? My next door neighbor on the right hand side was standing outside the entire time as I was backing in. Dude, I got this. I like, I'm a pro at this. Trust me, trust me. I'm gonna show you how to do all your connections, your hookups for when you arrive to your RV slot. So the next side of um, setting up your RV spot is looking at your connection and then looking at where you're gonna connect into. So my water's right here and the water spigot is down there. And my electrical is right here. My cable is right here. And my CD water connection's right here. And my sewer is down there and the sewer line has to go all the way back there. These connections are pretty fine. As they stand, the slide out has enough room, but in order for me to reach my sewer, I'm going to move my RV. Go backing it up. And what I'm looking at, so you see where I'm looking at, so you know how I know where my hitch is. I'm looking on my screen right here. So, oh, come on. There we go. So I'm just looking on there until I get the hitch right there. So this is what I use. This is my theory, my method of madness right here. So you see I am uneven. So that side is much lower. Uh, left side as I'm looking at is much lower than my right side because the bubble's over there. So the reason why I know the blocks that I need to put under my RV is because I've been to a lot of these spaces in this RV park quite a few times. So I'm a kind of a pro at it. So I knew I had to put two under each of them and then I had these smaller ones. Barely tap on the gas when you're doing this or else you'll overshoot yourself or over, go over um, all your chalk blocks. And as soon as you get up, you push your... How do we look? We're good on the other side. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Put one on this side. And one chalk block on that side. And then I'm gonna get my leveling blocks. Because I've just been saying chalk block, leveling blocks. It's really easy when you get down to um, doing your front to back because you have the leveler in front, so you don't really have to worry about am I level front and back because you can you can do that with this thing right here. So I just kind of wanted to show you the last little part is just connecting your vehicle from or your RV from your car, your vehicle, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and you're done. Uh, for at least this part. And now it's just the easy part, connecting everything in. Really when I pull into RV slot, only takes me 20 minutes. So the last part of leveling, I just took my leveler from the back, is leveling forward to front. Ooh. And as you see, it's higher in the front than it is in the back, so I wanna get that middle ball in there. So I just go all the way up here and just lower down my jack. Sorry. At full memory. <laughs> So let's just see how I'm leveled, if I'm not, and yep, bubbles right in the middle. So I connected everything up, well not really connected everything up, I just brought. What you want to do in this part is make sure that the power is shut off before you put your power cord to your RV in so you don't blow anything. So the next thing I'm doing is connecting my water, make sure your water is shut off, and then you put it all together. 
uh, you take off your cover off your sewer. I'm just showing you, I have a clear hose that I use, but these are the grooves that it connects into for your um, your tanks, your, both your black and, black and gray water tanks. Jeez. So <laughs> I forgot to show how you connect your cable in, but pretty much it's just the coaxial cable. You just screw it in. And then, like I said, make sure your power is off to your pedestal. It'll have an on and off little switch. And then you put your power cord in there and then you click the on. So I hope this video gives you a little bit of clarity. If not, just let me know and I'll film another video. Um, and now I'm just cleaning up my RV site, like cleaning up all the cords, everything that's connected into the pedestal. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I hope this really helps you guys, give you guys a little bit of motivation and courage. So if you like the video, hit that like button and please subscribe.